In the previous video, we launched the CentOS 7 based virtual machine to the Seaporta cloud environment of CSC. The Linux images provided by CSC in Seaporta contain only minimum Linux environment with no application tools installed. The application software needed must be installed by the user. There are several ways how the installation can be done. In this video, we demonstrate how Conda environment can be used to install some application to your virtual machine. We continue from the situation where the previous video ended. So we have now one virtual machine installed and a shell session open to this virtual machine. CentOS 7 systems use YAM repository installation tool to install system level libraries and tools to your Linux platform. In this case, we need to install VGIP2 compression toolkit to the platform to be able to start Conda installation. The default user account cloud user can use the sudo command to execute root level commands like yum install. Next we go to the Conda homepage and study the installation instructions of Conda package. From the Conda homepage we navigate our way to the Downloads section of Conda and we choose to take Anaconda in this case and then we select of the two available versions the one which is compatible with Python 2.7. We copy the link of the file to be downloaded. We switch to the shell session running in the virtual machine and use wget and the link to download the installation file to the virtual machine where we want to install it. We check that the file has been correctly downloaded and then we launch the installation command that is given in the Conda installation instructions. We give the input required by the installation procedure and then after a while we have Conda package installed in our virtual machine. In this case, we want to install bioinformatics applications to our virtual machine. And to do that, we want to use Bioconda repositories. So we go to homepage of Bioconda project and check what kind of configuration we should set up to use the Bioconda repository. From the list of available packages, you can check if the bioinformatics tool that you want to use can be installed using Bioconda. The list is quite long. Many of the applications that are normally used in bioinformatics are available as Bioconda packages. So next we run the Bioconda configuration commands, but you should notice that the Conda is not available before a new bash session is launched. So we have to first launch new bash shell and then we can do the configuration of Bioconda environment. When the configuration is ready, we can install new bioinformatics tools like BWA using Conda install commands. So, like this, conda install pwa, we launch the command. It takes a while when it contacts the repositories, downloads the downloading materials, and does the inf installation quite automatically. So now the application install is ready and we can start using pwa command in our virtual machine. The applications installed with Conda are preserved there in our virtual machine so that if we log out from the machine and log in there again, we can start continuing using the tool we installed. In this case we add the Kime 
metagenomics package to our virtual machine. Kime is quite a complex system that contains many dependencies and subprograms that need to be installed, but with Conda we can install them all by just using one command. So now the software is there, and if we check the Anaconda directory there in our home directory, we can see that in the bin directory there we have the Kime commands available for us to be used. Now let's try one Kime command. We take the command, launch it, and then we get an error message. Uh, if we go to the end of the error message, we can see that there is a specific library, libgl, which is missing from this Linux system that we are using. So we need to install this library to be able to use this command that we were trying to use. First we use the yum provides command to check which package would provide this library for us for installation. And then we use the yum install command to install the missing package to our Linux system. So we copy it from here and install it. Say yes, install some packages, and now when we run the command again, it works. And Kime is now there, available and ready to be used.